A family-owned radio station is entering its second century of local broadcasting. Our Derek James shows us how at 100, WDGY is finding success with a format that originally made it famous. Listen filled with fun from Radio 1130, WDGY. WDGY was one of the first commercial radio stations in the Twin Cities. It began in 1923 as a hobby of its owner, optometrist Dr. George Young. He was kind of the ultimate showman, right? The, the self-promoter. He had a Rolls Royce and he would drive down Broadway blaring the music of his station. A station which enjoyed success in the golden age of radio in the 1930s and 40s. The music, the news, the woman-only programming, kids programming. After Young's death in 1945, his estate sold the station. WDGY went through several ownership changes. In the mid-1950s, it began playing rock and roll in a top 40 format. It gained popularity and a nickname. Why Ouija? Maybe a guy got a wedgie or something. I have no idea. <laughs> the station topped listenership alongside WCCO and newcomer KDWB. In August of 1965, WDGY welcomed a hot new group taking the U.S. by storm for what would be their only trip to the Twin Cities. Hello. Fast forward to the start of the cassette era of the 70s. Facing more competition from the FM dial, WDGY's top 40 days came to an end in September of 1977. The call letters remained until 1991. After several ownership and format changes, Greg Borgen of Borgen Broadcasting brought WDGY back to the Twin Cities in 2008. It was because that was the station that he missed, right? That was the stuff that he grew up with as a, this popular music. And there was just kind of a hole in the market. He did it with the help of his three children, Brent, Danielle, and Brooke. It was exciting because it was the music we grew up on, too. Greg Borgen passed away suddenly in December of 2020. His kids carry his legacy into a digital future while sticking with what originally made WDGY a success. The original rock and roll station, WDGY, I'm Sue Falls. Live local radio, mm -hmm. where we're talking about the community, community events, what's going on in the community. Today, WDGY broadcasts on AM740, as well as two FM translators, one in Hudson and one in St. Paul, as well as 107.1's HD2 channel. The station just pulled its largest audience with the WDGY call letters since 1987. It's also celebrating its centennial by adding longtime Cool 108 morning personality Jeff Olson to Afternoon Drive. And we are a club of music lovers from Minnesota. Everyone on the air lives here. We're from here. We know about the history of this radio station. What's in that pile of vinyl there, back there behind you? My all-time favorite group, REO Speedwagon. Elton John. Uh, do you have this one? The Eagles, Hotel California. That's the awesome thing about WDGY is I'm playing music that I have in my record collection. Back at the studio, Brooke had this to say about their dad's legacy. I think that it was family and that it's staying in the family and... That's what he always wanted, and I know he is very proud of everybody at WDGY. In Lakeland, Derek James, WCCO4 News. What a cool nostalgic no way to kind of reach back to, you know, that age and everything else. So, so I mean, neat to see some of that is. history. Yeah, yeah. And Jeff Olson, who uh, starts on air next week, is the second former Cool 108 personality to join WDGY. Sioux Falls has been hosting middays on the station since January of 2022. And along with its four frequencies in the area, the station also streams worldwide on your favorite device.